Shalom, and um, welcome to another installment of Apostles of GMS, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Today is going to be an open forum. Uh, today's date is um, November 8th, 2014. So with that, I'm going to let y'all have it. Y'all say what y'all get, whatever comes to, to mind, you know, dealing with, with the truth. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, Shalom, y'all, to the, the elect of uh, GMS. Uh, basically, um, you know, we was just talking in general about this truth, man. This truth is a serious thing, man. Um, like, brothers, we would always say, this truth is like the mafia, man. It's like the mob, the, the spiritual mob of the, the Most High. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And when you come in this, when you come in this truth, man, you, you got to take it serious. You got you to gotta commit to this truth, man, when you come into it. You know, well, like me, myself, when I first came into this truth, I took it seriously, man, myself and the other brothers. This is like, like once you commit to this, you commit to this uh, for life. This, this is a for life uh, thing. It's not a thing where you come in here. Like, in other words, this is not like uh, the black conscious movement, some kind of group or club or clique. Or this is not the Muslims. A lot of guys uh, come into this thing and they look at it as the, the Muslims. You know, like you might run into certain jakes out there in the street certain Negroes and shit, and he might just be a regular nigga out there, whatever, living his life, eating pork or celebrating Christmas, whatever he do, but then you might, might talk to him and he'd be like, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, you know, back in the 70s, I, you know, I, I used to be down with Islam, I used to be a Muslim and whatnot, and then in the 80s, you know, I kind of became a, I had, I had dreadlocks and I became a roster, you know, I tried out all different religions, you know. Then in the 90s, you know, I kind of became a Jehovah Witness for a little while. Like a religion. Like a just a religion. This the, the, this ain't no... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't no religion. This ain't no uh, religion, man. This, I mean, pretty much it's reality. The reality of the fact is is that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we are Israelites. We're Hebrew Israelites, man. Yeah, you got uh, 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 the water. Yeah, read it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Yep, that's that's plain. It's self-explanatory. It says, he that endureth unto the end, the very same shall be saved. As a matter of fact, can you give me the scripture in Matthews? Along with that, get Matthews, the parable of the sower. Okay, uh, the water. Um, he that endureth unto the end, the very same shall be saved. That means you got to stay in this thing. Run the run the race to the end. It's like when you running, like it's like if you jogging, like you know I jog. And different brothers, we work out. Like when you run, you, you like if you running three miles and whatnot. If you jogging, like you in the treadmill and you jogging. When when you first start out, you start out kind of all right, but then like, like when you're like maybe twenty minutes in or 10, 15 minutes in, you start kind of breathing heavy. You know you sweating and shit like that. And you kind of like then at one point you gotta you gotta dig in. And then, like, them, you know, them demons be in your mind. Like, yo, man, I don't know. I'm getting kind of tired, man. I mean, maybe I should just quit. Man. Fuck it, man. Fuck it, you know? But then you dig in. You say, nah, man, I got I to gotta do this. I got to keep going until I get to my goal. You know what I mean? And then as you get closer to, like, the, coming up on finishing up your, uh, uh, your laps, you sprint harder. That's when you start sprinting harder. You start running harder. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what this uh, this truth is like. We we to the end of this thing. Did you see what's going on out here in the world? This thing with Russia is escalating with America and Russia. You know they got this guy Putin. You know it's all a theater of war, but the elites are backing it all up. They got this guy Putin talking shit to Obama, but we know there's going to be a nuclear war between America, Russia, and certain other countries. This Ebola thing. The chip, all that, it's all culminating, man. These racial tensions is all culminating, man. It's all culminating. It's all coming together. So we know we're at the end of this thing. So this, this is like a stupid time to fall out the truth or, or walk away from this truth. You got to be stupid, man. I got a scripture that perfectly uh, echoes what you just said and or illustrates. Uh, Galatians 4 9, 9. It says, But now. After ye have known the Most High, or rather are known of the Most High, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements? <laughs> the word element. 
<laughs> I'll turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage. Because, hey, you know, the bottom line is, man, if you ain't in this truth, you're a slave to either the so-called white man or the so-called black woman or both. All right? Because they're the, the main leaders of this this wicked world, the so-called white man and the so-called black woman. The the so-called white man is the is the commandant, and the so-called black woman is is his henchman. All right. Then you have uh, far below you have these wicked punk ass niggas that are, that that ain't got no you know no backbone. But basically, if you ain't in this truth, you're a slave, man. And we've been telling you that. You know, you got these guys that act like they're not slaves. If you ain't in this truth, you don't know this truth. You're a slave. And I'm going to read it again. Galatians 4 and 9. But now after ye have known the Most High, because we know the Most High. We know his name. We know his son's name. We know the knowledge. All right? As much as have been revealed to us. What's his name? You know, his name is Yahweh, and his son's and name is Yahweh Shai. Ahiah. Ahiah. Oh, it ain't Ahiah. Ahiah and Yeshia. <laughs> it ain't Yeshia. It ain't God. Well, somebody's saying that. You know, we were wrong. Most of the time, Ahiah. Yeah. His son's name is Yeshia. They're going to find out we're right. I know a nigga named Yeshia, but. You know, they, they say we're wrong. They're going to find out we're right. That's right. His name is Yahweh. Man, I look, I went down to Atlanta. My, my mother was sick, and I had a bottle of oil. I was with Elder Manatazak, and I anointed my mother in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And like five minutes later, she was all right. All right? I witnessed that. I saw that. And, and there's that brothers. Been a coincidence, brother. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there, there, uh, there's brothers that witnessed it, that saw it. So the point I'm making is, there's power in the name Yahweh Barshem Yahweh Shai. That is the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Now, if you choose to believe otherwise, then that just means you're not part of the elect. That's all that means. All right. But that's that's what it's mean or what it means. But now, after that, ye have known the Most High, or rather, are known of the Most High. How turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements? That's what this world is made of. Made up, up of weak and be beggarly elements. Whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage. All right, so that's it. And, and, and um, to back you up on that, there was a time years ago, uh, I got arrested, you know, for the, for the word's sake, you know, and I, I prayed to the Most High while I was sitting in that cell in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and I got shortly after that released. You know what I mean? So that name has power, man. You can't tell tell us that name don't got power. Many occasions, man, we we myself and all of us in here have been in situations and we prayed to that name, man, and things happened. We got delivered, man. You know, so that name carries power. I don't I don't care what you jerk offs got to say, man. You know what I mean? You guys you guys a lot of you are, number one it's a setup and being paid to say otherwise, man. Really. If I may add to that, yeah. see, even back then you had uh, individuals that denied the name of the Lord. And here's an example. This is the book of Revelation 3 and 8. This is what Yahweh said to uh, John on the island of Patmos when he received all those visions. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. The door is talking about your mind. Once Yahweh Bashim Yahweh opened your mind to the truth, no man can shut it. All right, no matter what bullshit they come with. Okay? For thou has a little strength and has kept my word. That shows you have to have mental strength to keep the word of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, and has not denied my name. All right? So back then you had individuals that denied the name. You know, they lost faith in the name. You got to have faith to believe in the name of Yahabashim Yahushai. That comes under faith. All right? So. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You gotta believe. You gotta. You gotta really believe. Well, well the scripture says. Yahweh uh, Shai was talking about that, and Paul talked about it and said, "When you pray, that scripture, where the Lord said, pray, pray with uh, faith, and uh, when you pray, you have to believe uh, that you're gonna receive what it is you're praying for." And it says, "If a guy is praying and you don't really believe, it says, let not that man think he will receive anything of the Most High." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun. Yeah, you, you know, you know the scripture I'm talking about. So uh, if you don't have faith, if you don't really believe in this, you can't fake fake this. If you're faking it, uh, if anybody out there, y'all faking it, man, and you're wasting your time, man. 
Just go back in the world and you know become a the new P Diddy man, <laughs> or whatever you know. You still got that uh, scripture in Matthew's around love? This is the book of uh, Matthew, uh, chapter thirteen, and I'll start at the first verse. I jump around a little bit. It says, "Then sent the the same day went Yahushai out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat." And the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowl... Uh, Matthew 13. Oh, the same thing. Okay. It says, And the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprang up, because they had no deepness of, of earth. And when the sun was up, they were uh, scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground. And uh, I'm sorry, do me a favor, brother. Go back up like a verse or two. Okay. Baba Kusha. It says, some fell upon stony places. That one? Uh, go, up, go up a verse. Go up again. Okay. It said, uh, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, uh -huh. and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. Uh, uh, see, the stony, that's the brothers that pretty much fall out the truth, man. That's, the, that's, that's, that, well, it was a parable, but it was referring to uh, the brothers, yep. or, or it was referring to men, primarily Israelites, the elect and the non elect. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, it says, and when the sun was up, they were uh, scorched, and because they had no root. They, they had no root. Yep. See, if you come in this truth and you're not rooted in this truth, in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, what's going to happen eventually, man, you're going to get scorched. You're going, when, when, and the sun can represent the afflictions, going through hell, catching hell. That's why a lot of guys fall off, man. That's why a lot of guys fall off. And then a lot of guys, you got guys that left the truth years ago, but they got the still, <laughs> still in the truth demon on them. You got a lot of guys out there right now. Y'all know them. Blue, HODC12, Yohanna. All them, them niggas ain't in the truth. That's just the act, yeah, man. Yohanna ain't in the truth. He don't go out no more, man. Yep. He ain't in the truth. Hey, I got a scripture. You, you still got, you still talking? You, still yeah, no, you go ahead, Tom. Oh, okay, okay. I got this. Yeah. If you want to finish. Uh, yeah, this is Romans 13 and 11. It said, in that knowing the time, that now it is, a, that now it is high time to wake up out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. A lot of these guys that fall off, like Baloo. I got to mention Baloo. I got to mention Isaiah. Isaiah said before he left the camp that he's going to open up a camp on 23rd. He's going to do his own thing. Then when he left, he lost everything, man. Now he yeah. says East Edomites can make it, you know? Oh, he said that? Uh, yeah, he straight up said it, man. His, his thing is the Gentiles can make it, you know? He don't even believe in the name. Oh, he don't believe in the Apocrypha. The New Testament, he don't believe in Paul. So the Most High took that all away from him, man. And we've seen this through the years, man. You know? <laughs> okay. And we still, we still here, man. Give me Acts. Hold on, Dex, Act, Dex, uh, Acts uh, 5. What was it, 38? Uh, you know, still... That's how you know if a guy is still in. That's a good indication that you know that a, that, that a man's still in this. All right? Yeah. I'm going to read this. It says 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. And I see that. Yeah, yeah. But how do we know? By the prophecies, man. The prophecies are popping off left and right. Uh, man. Things are going to get hot out here, right? <laughs> 12. It says, The night is far spent. The day is at hand. The day of the destruction of this, this man and the coming back of the Lord. Yahweh Shai. Not Christ. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. In other words, get right. Okay. And let us put on the armor of light. A lot of these guys, when they leave out there, what do they do? They taking off the armor. They don't believe in this. Oh, the apocrypha. That's not really a part of the, the, the word. I said, watch. About another month, he ain't going to believe in the New Testament. Oh, the New Testament ain't right. You know? The name, we don't know who the name is. And that's not the real Hebrew. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go no, I just wanted to add to your point. You know, but no, Isaiah is a reprobate. Because he's saying Edomites can make it, but he don't believe in the New Testament. Now, if anything, the New Testament would be the one that he could make his point. Yeah, right? well, he's, you can see that, that, that the Mosai is peeling all that off of him, man. You yeah, know? he's gone. 
<laughs> he doesn't even believe in you. He has Sarah. no foundation. Yeah. The foundation was taken, taken from him, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It says, uh, let us walk honestly, right? Hold on, let me read 12 again. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. All right? When you have the armor of light on you, that means other people see you. Right? Yeah. They see you. Give me, give, give me right quick, uh, 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 1 Corinthians, uh, what is that, 9 and 4? Yeah. Is it 4 and 9 or 9 and 4? 4 and 9, I'm sorry. Yeah, give me that right quick. This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. For I think that the Most High has set forth us, the apostles, last, as it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Spectacle means a sight, a gazing st st uh, stock, a gaze, a, 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 a gaze, someone to gaze at, to look at. Uh -huh. So you're out there, you know, like us. We're out there, man. Right. Now Yeshia said he never stopped teaching. Well, ho hold up, Yeshia. If you if you never if you never stopped teaching, people would have saw you based upon the scripture that we just read, man. The scripture said, let your light so shine. And I just read in the 12th uh, uh, verse of Romans 13, it says, put on the arm of light. When you have a, if, if I put on a garment on that's like a flashlight and light, people going to stop and look at me, man. Damn right. So we have that arm of light on us. You shy, you ain't got that light. Who have been teaching your wife and a couple other people? All right? <laughs> so you ain't in the truth, man. You ain't in the truth no more. So you all you could all you could do is Shia and Lahab and Gazak is wait for the missiles. You know, you lay you Gazak, you laying low, you lay low for the missiles, man. You know? It says, Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and in drunkenness, not in chambering and in wantonness, not in strife and in envy, uh fourteen. But put ye on your house shy and make no provisions. The vision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And I'm going to look in some, into some of these words. I'm going to get into some of these uh, key words, root words. Yeah, speaking about lights, this is uh, Luke 12 and 35 and 36. It says, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. Part of your light burning is you got to be out there on the street. You got you to gotta be out there teaching, man, so people can see the light. Right. You know what it said about Yahweh Shai when he first started teaching? The uh, prophecy in uh, Isaiah, what is that, the ninth chapter? It says the people saw a great light. I mean, when Yahweh Shai, this, uh, that's when he first started his ministry, when he started teaching. He was that great light. He is that great light. Uh, the 36th verse, it says, And ye yourselves, like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that we that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Yeah. All right, so that's us, man. We're waiting for the Lord because we know the Lord is coming back. Yahweh Shai is coming back, and we know how he's coming back, and we know what he's coming back to do. He's coming back to gather his elect and also destroy this place called America and essentially the so-called white man's world. So that's what we're waiting for. So till then, we're doing the work until the Lord comes back. Now, you always hear say, those that endure to the end, that is the end. When Yahweh Shack can destroy this place, that's the end. So you got to wait till then, man. You know? I got something real quick. This is uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither, cause so so if you if you out there really teaching the truth, people are gonna see you. Shia, they would already knew about you, man. You and who's this new cat? You know, no, I, I always I never stopped teaching. Well, wait a minute, the scriptures speak about being a light. People would have known who you were, man. They would have been talking about you. Oh, this guy right here. So you haven't been teaching, man. That's right. It says uh, neither. Neither have you, uh, General Johanna. You ain't doing shit, man. All that shit that you were doing, uh, your General Johanna burns up. Times Square, Gen he ain't out there no more. So you figure you got men to do your work for you, man? Mo no, another man can't save you, my my, my brother. All right? Philippians 2 and 12, man. Work out your own soul salvation with fear and, and what? And trembling, man. You ain't fearing and trembling, man. 
And I've been telling you, your men, your zombies, man, the, and, uh, including Tazariak, Tazariak, you need to wake up, man. Yeah, man. Because yeah. you're going to look like a damn fool when you find out that this guy's an imposter. Okay? <laughs> it says, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. In other words, you don't lay low. <laughs> Take the not. The That's scriptures right. say, better is a man that hideth his folly than him that hideth his wisdom. You know, because wisdom is beautiful. So you want people to see that wisdom. So you go out there and you teach it. You know? Oh, can I add to that? Hey, man, fuck it. I'm just going to say it. Then we got a guy out here in uh, Texas, man. You know, he's, he's back out there in the world. Now, when I talked to when I talked to the guy a few months back when I was in Texas, I tried to encourage the brother because we still like the guy. And I was like, look, brother, you got to just go out and teach. Yeah, brother, I got videos but, 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 up there. But, but you can like a guy, yeah. but he doesn't have to be the elect. He, he's not you the can elect. like a guy. Just because yeah. you like somebody, don't make him the elect. Yeah. They don't make you the, the, the elect is going to continue to do the work, all right? Yep, gone. You don't have to wait for orders from another That's right. A, another dude, you know? <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> but, but that but that, but that 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 coincides with what was said because this particular guy, I made a statement to him, look, just do the work, and he made a statement to me, yeah, yeah, uh, I, I, I have been doing the work. I've been doing videos, but I ain't put them up. I ain't put them up yet. See, so that's another example. He, to put him up. he yeah. did what he's supposed to do, yeah. and he went back into the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. hey, you know what? The dude was cool. We liked yeah. the brother. We missed yeah. the brother. But you know what, man? <laughs> he wasn't of the elect. He wasn't of the elect. I mean, he's an Israelite. He'll he'll make it on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, he just ain't gonna be son. sitting on one of them thrones, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He'll get up on a lower throne. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And like Yeshaya said, you just be a citizen in yeah, yeah. Israel. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing of letting your letting your work. If you have the elect, uh, let, letting your um, light. letting your light shine, yeah. right? So if you're doing the work, then people are supposed to see you doing the work, right. not hear about it. Right. Right. So that that but that goes into the elect and the, and the and the parable of of the sower, yep. the, the the guys that fell on stony. All you guys that we mentioned, you you the, you the seeds that fell on stony ground that didn't take root. And the sun came and scorched you, man. Okay. I'm going to read this real quick and then I'm going to hand it to you. Uh, this is John three nineteen and 20. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. So if you're about truth, you're going to come to the light that his deeds may be made manifest and they are wrought in the heavenly father. And that light is supposed to be shining out there on the streets. Like it says, wisdom craft without she other for voice in the streets. You got these guys that say, oh, you don't need to go out in the street and teach the word. That's a, a violation against the scriptures. You know, people are got to see your light. Good. I got, um, Revelations 2 and 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works, which going out and speaking on the streets is the part of the, is major works right there. You got to be out there. You got to be out there teaching. Yes, yeah, that's the work, being out there physically, you know. You know, in the midst. That's war, man. You out there in the midst of all them elements, demons and all that. You know, you got to go out there and teach the word. That's the, that's the way this word gets out. But you got to keep it till the end. The scripture says, um, but but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over, give power over the nations. All right? You ain't going to get that power over the nations going back in the world and putting up rap videos. Or going back and please your woman and be and just being a yeah, just being a, just being a dildo head in the world, you know. On the TV. I, I, let me let me let me finish this up. This is it Matthew five and fifteen now? Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. You know, and that's how your, the glorification of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to come. You know, by them seeing you doing the works. Yeah. You know, and you're not going to be able to. That you're not going to be seen doing the works if you're sitting at home. You know, if you if you are um, 
doing whatever it is that you're doing and, and neglecting the work of the Lord. You can't take the work of the Lord and put it in a napkin. You know, the Lord said he's against that. You know, when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to you know, deal with, with you guys that, that, that are doing that. You know, if by you making a statement of I'm laying low, that means you taking the, the word of the Lord and putting it in a napkin. You know, and say, well, look, uh, I know the Lord is an austere man, so, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to put the work to the side. I'm not going to do nothing with it, you know. And when the Lord comes back, he's going to deal with you. He feared the Lord because he was an austere man. And the austere man going to deal with you, man. All right, Gazak? All right, you can't run, man. You, you niggas cannot run, okay? Um, my, my record bears, bears witness of, of what I am. Where, where's your record? Uh, where's your record? I got a track record, my man, of all kind of videos, man. Yeah. You know, I got a record. Where's your record? Huh? <laughs> it says in Hebrews, uh, <laughs> Hebrews 12 and 1, it says, Wherefore, seeing, seeing we also are compassed about with a with so great a cloud of witnesses. So you gotta be shy. You gotta somebody gotta you gotta have witnesses. And the scripture said a great cloud of witnesses, man. There's thousands upon thousands of people that know us all over the world. Alright? It says uh uh, uh where, wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight well, weight is what? It holds you down, you know? So you got to lay all those things aside. And the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run, not jog, not moonwalk, you know what I'm saying? Not tiptoe. It says, and let us run with patience. The race, that's a race. When you win a race, that means there's got to be a winner, right? Anybody that's in a race, in the hundred yard dash, all the motherfuckers are trying to win, man. But only the scripture said only one received the, the, the prize. So you're supposed to be out there racing. You're supposed to do it with all your heart, man. And you guys ain't you guys will be taking breaks. Like Bun Yumin and them, H O D C them guys be taking breaks. Then they come back. Then they're fully charged, then the battery gets dead, then they take two more years off, then they come back. The new improved H O D C, you know, which is not ain't nothing but the house is soft. That's all you are. Yeah, the house is all back forever. And the sin which doeth so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. All right? Yeah, it should be H O S uh, C. Matter of fact, that's what we're going to call you from now on. Y'all not H O D, y'all H O, was it H O S C? H O S C, the house of Saul, man. Congregation Tabernacle. <laughs> well, well, well Bunyamin is definitely in the house of Saul. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's in the house of Saul. Yeah. And Baloo. He ain't in the house of David. Yeah, Baloo, you ain't even of the house of Saul. You're the, you're, you're the house of Saul. Hey, man. And at least even Saul was a warrior, man. I mean, he was wicked, but Saul had a warrior spirit. You yeah. you of the house of the Pillsbury Doughboy. Dough <laughs> the, the house of the Pillsbury Doughboy. You know the guy in the commercial? You know, you know you, the, the, the guy with the white, the little, the little d demon, and he put, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, they put your stomach God, in. God. They got these Pillsbury dough, and you have the house of the Pillsbury dough boy, man. That's who you are, man. Oh, man. You, you a joke. You, you a joke, man. We don't even yeah. take you serious, man. You just did like the 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 punchline of the joke, uh, Baloo. He's another one that don't go out. I got a quick uh, okay. precept. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Right about now, you wouldn't catch him. You wouldn't dare catch him out there. It's too cold for the for the little lad. <laughs> Isaiah thirty and twenty. It says, "And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, you know, though we go through all kinds of hell, <laughs> and the water of affliction, <laughs> yet shall not thy teachers be removed. The key word there is teachers. Be removed into a corner any more." So you niggas that have the mentality, oh, you don't need to go out. You're pushing yourself in the corner. The scriptures say that thy teacher shall not be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. So well, part who's, of, who's been seeing you, Yeshaya? Yeah, who's or been seeing Yeah, well, Yeshaya. Or even Lahab. Lahab's still making them weak-ass videos. In the corner. But they don't even show his, he don't even show his face, man. Yeah, in the corner. With like 20 views on it. Oh, Nate. Yeah. Nate, Nate pops up every once in a while. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah, but uh, you shy cats like that. You you guys are in the corner. The prophecy well, your says. ain't out there, man. Yeah, your is in the corner. You should see that, man. Yeah. You should see that. What? Yeah. Give me a Tazaria. Give me a scripture where your head man, but pursuing to the scriptures, cannot mm-hmm. don't have to go out no more. Right. Yeah. You know? Even your Howard Shah. Even your Howard Shah and the twelve went out. That's right. Yeah, said, you know. That's right. And and here's the prophecy: Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So we're supposed to be out there, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. So part of the reason we're out in the streets is so the world can see the teachers, who the teachers of the scriptures really are, who the teachers the the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh have blessed with the knowledge. That's it. With the truth. That's right. I got something. It said this is Luke uh, fourteen and sixteen, right? It says, Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. So this is the great, the great supper. And um, the people that's going to be invited to that great supper is us. It's, in other scriptures, it's, re- it's referred to as a wedding, right? It says 17, and sent, his servant at, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, come, for all things are now ready. In other words, it's time. To, don't, don't be thinking about what you're going to do. I'm going to wait till the most I come tell me what to do. Nigga, you're supposed to know what to do, man. It says, uh, 18, it says, And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have brought a piece of ground, and or a house, whatever, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. 19, and another said, I have brought, I have bought, um, excuse me, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. You got to put the emphasis in it, you know. Uh, uh, 20, it says, and another said, and we, and, and we done seen this hundreds of times, man. Guys like that with their excuses and shit. Uh, an, and another said, I have married a wife. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's, that's, that's the number one, that's the one, man, that gets you that woman. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. 21. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly unto the streets and lanes of the city, and bring and bring in hither the poor. Another word for poor is a bum, right? Yeah. Most I was looking for bums, right? Yeah. Yeah, bum bummerites. Well, I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. I take that as a compliment. Let me read that again. Twenty-one. It says, "So, so that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets.'" And lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, and the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. In other words, the lowest of society. So if you want to call us bums, I'll take that as a compliment, man. Okay? It says uh, 22, and, and the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. So they need more more people. 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. That's the streets. That's the streets. Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. So that's what we're doing. Something that Yeshai is not doing, yep. something that Gazak is not doing, something that Yahan is not doing, something that y- Yeshai is not doing, yep. something that Ariyah is not doing. Yep. Uh, now, now, Nate is calling himself doing it, but you know what he does? He brings him in there and he says, well, the name, we don't know the name of the Lord. Or well, there's no Lord that you got to know the name of the Lord. He's going off. He's going off. All right. That's what he's doing it for the money. It says that my house may be filled, right? 24. 
For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. That's the deliverance and the kingdom. Ultimately, you're going to come into the kingdom, but you ain't going to taste of the deliverance. That's right, the first resurrection. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Okay? And it, 25, and it said, And there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them, and it goes, that goes into something else. Uh, you know what? I might want to read down some more. I look up that word streets and names. Mm. If I may say, um, Elder Ta'a mentioned when he was reading yeah, the scripture, read on. Read on. he mentioned the word compel. And I looked that word up in the Greek. That's a powerful word. That's a powerful word. See, you got to look for those powerful. There's some words when you read the scripture that jumps out, you, out even, at you and give you father, a left hook. Even, even, even Father Karras, in, uh, that's his name in uh, the uh, Exodus. It's the power. Holy water. Oh. It's the power of Christ that compels you. The power of Christ 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 compels you. Father was his name. I believe so. I I don't, I don't remember. Yes, yeah, right. He said. He said. He said. The power of Christ compels you. The <laughs> Compel, power man. of Christ compels you. Com the power com of Christ compels you. He used Christ. You know? Compulsion. Compulsion. Yep. Yeah, so certain, you, you looked it up. No, yeah, I looked it up. Hey, I, I was. It. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there's certain words when you read the scripture, which is built upon words. There's certain words among the scripture that jumps up at you. And and knocks you out, man. You know, gives you a left hook. And that, that's one of the words, compel. You look it up in the Greek, the word there is anon, ka, anon kazo. Anon kazo. It says to necessitate, compel, drive to, constrained by th force, threats. So, hey, w w whatever it takes. When we're out there teaching, whatever it takes, man. <laughs> you know? And eventually, the person, if the person's of the elect, they're going to come in anyway. By permission and treaties by other means. So this is one of the reasons why we're out in the street, man, to compel the members of the elect to come into the truth, come into the knowledge. That's heavy, man. Uh, 26, it says, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother, they should put aunt in there. Aunt Bessie should be up in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause, cause Aunt Bessie Blue sealed your your fate for you, man. She 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 tapped that that last nail into your coffin. Cause my man, you were not gonna make it, my man. You ain't gonna make it. You know, I can honestly say that you were not gonna make it, man. Okay, and you're mad. And mother and wife and children and uh -huh. brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also. He cannot. He cannot be my disciple. So when you jump up and say, who's going to go out there in the brick coal? Well, the Lord told you to go out there in the brick coal, man. To prove your faithfulness to him, man. Hey, like, I'm going to give you a little story, man. My wife is in the hospital, and uh, she, she stayed, and I came to my house, and, and the dogs were there, right? And you know what, man? Now, her daughter's there. Them dogs stay right in the main door all night long, not sleeping. So that's faithfulness, man. Yeah. That's faithfulness. That's why you read about uh, Caleb, Aaron, uh, uh, Aaron and Caleb. They said K K Aaron and Caleb had a Joshua, I'm, uh, Joshua and Caleb, all right, that they had a stable of the 12 spies. And the other spies said, no, we can't defeat them. They're too strong for us, this, that, the other. And they said, no, they're ready. They're ready to be taken down. Now, when you look up the word Caleb, the word Caleb, is from the, the the Hebrew, which which means the so-called Hebrew, which means dog. 
And the reason why he, that was an omen nomen, the reason why he was given that name, because because dogs are faithful, man. Right. And they showed you that in that movie uh, Gladiator. Yeah. Remember when they had to they were fighting against the Germanic, uh, the barbarians, the, the Germanic uh, barbarians. Yeah. And this guy, what was the guy? The main Maximus. He was fighting. He had a German shepherd with him, and the German shepherd was right on his side fighting fighting the the Germanic uh, tribes, man. And a, and a dog will, will, will die to, to save his master, man. So we're like the dog. We're like the dogs, the faithful dogs of the Most High, man. Yep. Oh. If it's cold, we deal with the cold. That's right. If this happened, we deal, we deal with it, man. We don't make excuses, man. Yep. This is a war, man. The Most High ain't niggas, weak ass niggas like you, man. And them big muscle bound niggas are the weakest niggas on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Them niggas are always weak, man. And they showed you that in that movie, Cool Hand Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what's his name? Washington, uh, Kennedy? George Kennedy? Yeah. He was all built and he beat up Luke and shit. But at the end of the thing, he started following this guy after he whipped his ass. Yeah. Because Luke's mind was stronger, man. You are a weak-minded cat. You got a big body, but you got a, you, you a yeah. weak nigga, man. You are so, you soft. <laughs> soft in the spirit. You bitch made, like the brothers you out bitch west made, say. for real. You bitch made, nigga. Oh, another movie, uh, uh, 13 Warrior, Bullvar. He had that dog, that crazy looking dog, and the damn dog, he was fighting in battle too. The dog was fighting them crazy cavemen. And then when Bullvar died, the dog was ooh, started crying. Yeah, man. I got, I got a precept here. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. You know what that means? That means dogs are above women. And th- right now, dogs are over women. Because a woman is far from faithful. And, 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 and as far as faith is concerned. Faith. You know? Yeah. As far well, as faithfulness. Well, the best character to deal with, like, like I said, Caleb means dog. Yeah. Because of his faithfulness. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Uh, this is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Going out in the brick cold. That's right. Yeah, like right now, Blue, the weather didn't changed up, so it's like it was like a quick winter. We know you ain't out there, and we and through the spirit, what well, Apostle Taha said this, hey, you know, it's up to the Lord. We may take your camp. <laughs> we may just do that because you ain't gonna be out there. It's gonna be empty unless H O D H uh, uh, O S unless H O S C is out there. But you know what? Them niggas ain't gonna be out there. Them guys ain't going out in the cold. Ben, you ain't going out, you Hanging nigga. Out it's too cold to go out there, man. Three out of the beach. And Barack, three yeah, looking like the three stooges. And Barack, we know you, you with that little bull whip. Hey, Barack, man, just just try to just give it up, Barack. You stuck in the '92, man. I work for Uber Cab. The <laughs> <laughs> the Antichrist and the Antichrist. Well, that's Barack Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but hold up, how can this guy be the Barack Obama? Barack Obama. How can this guy be the Antichrist? And he fucking lost the Congress. If you the if you the Antichrist, it said everybody's gonna come to him and be amazed. Ain't nobody amazed. Everybody niggas looking to man. The fuck they they done took. He lost that man. He lost that man. You know. Hey, if you go to if you go to Google and you put a uh, Barack Obama New York Post and you go to images, you go see him because <laughs> somebody told me about. It, I looked it up, man. He he's got he's got like a crown halfway on the side of his head and he's a, he's in like a a barrel and shit. And then I forget what they said, but they they're snapping on this guy now, man. They snapping on it. Barack Obama is is the Antichrist. All right. Um, Come on, move it down, move it down, move it down. It's got to be here. Good speech, y'all. Speech. Right. So uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to. Um, I'm gonna go to it, w- the scripture that uh, Apostle Tar was reading in the book of. Um, in the book of, uh, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry, Luke, the 14th chapter. I looked at the word lanes. The word lanes is from the uh, um, Greek word uh, rume, rume, which means a swing, rush. This is for the word lane, force, trail of a body in motion. All right, so now uh, rume for the word uh, uh, lanes, it says a tract of way in a town shut in by buildings on both sides. 
You know, when we're out there on the streets, you see that. You know, we're, we're out there on streets, on lanes that are shut in on both sides by buildings. I'll read it again. It says, a tract of way in a town shut in by buildings on both sides. You know, so that's that's what it means to be out in the streets in the lanes, to be out there in the Agora, you know, the in, actual in the streets. marketplace. Yeah, the actual streets. Notice, we went 34th and 7th. That's a marketplace. Oh, that's yeah. the Agora. Agora, you know? yeah. I got one more. This is... Uh, the book of Proverbs uh, 1 and 20, I mean, you, you brothers know the scripture. It says, wisdom craft without, she utter her voice in the streets. And that, and that word street or streets literally means that. There's no, no, it's no dark saying, all right? It's, it's a, no double meaning there. Uh, no double meaning, no, no, uh, no ambiguous meaning. Uh, street, when you look up the Hebrew word, the word there is rakhab, and it means street. And down here it says broad or open place or plaza. That ain't the internet, all right? <laughs> Some of you guys try to get slick. You say, oh, yeah. Although we use it, too. The internet I mean, is do, part of it. No, we use the internet, too. We do the yeah. sit-down sit down shows, too, but we out on the street. But you yeah. guys that are on the internet, you're not even teaching the truth. Yeah, right? the internet is not the street. But I'm saying right. th them guys that are on the internet, they're still not teaching the truth. Yeah, they're still, yeah, you know? yeah. But for those of you that say, the, oh, the internet uh, information highway, to, that is not the street. When the Most High mentioned the word street, he's talking about the actual street. All right, you got to go out on the street. Okay? Just the internet is part of the work, but it's not the street. All right? Uh, was, uh, Proverbs 1 and 20 Wisdom craft without she uttered her voice in the streets. Look up the Hebrew word. It's the actual street. She cried in the chief place of concourse. That's the Agora. That's the marketplace, like 34th and 7th. All right, that's a chief place. For goodness sakes, Macy's is right across the street. That's a major, major, that's a major department uh, store, man. People all over the world know about They made movies yeah, about the Macy's. The world's most famous uh, department, store. department store. That's store, their yeah. tagline. And they made movies. They made movies about Macy's. All right, Miracle on 34th Street. Go see that movie. Madison Square Garden is right down the street. Madison yep. Square Garden. <laughs> All right. And there's a camp. Well, we got three camps here in the main New York camp. Well, it's one main camp, but we break up into three camps. There's a camp right in front of Madison. This brother here, this elder right here, his, his camp speaks right in front of Madison Square Garden. Tell me that's not a, a major concourse, man. Penn Station, that's the world-famous Madison Square Garden, man. All kind of uh, uh, historic events have taken, uh, uh, sporting, sporting events have taken place in, uh, in that building. And there's a camp right there. So you're getting all kind of people, man. When there's a fight or a, a basketball or whatever there is, they, they have hockey. They have, sometimes they have the rodeo up in there. Yeah, them niggas are saying we're just supposed to go in the hood. Yeah, like we're just supposed to go in the hood. And, well, hood we did teach. do that. We did. And we used to go years. in the hood. We did that for years. Nobody man. listened. And man. They, they don't listen. They don't listen, man. And besides, we're supposed to go where all nations. Well, you got that's a right. that's a gathering. Going up to Harlem, some damn where is not a gathering place. That's right. community Negroes, man. <laughs> right. You know, right? Or somewhere in Brooklyn, some goddamn right. where. Them, them same Negroes, Negroes you're gonna see every day. Yeah. Now, now, thirty fourth and seventh. Or 44th Times Square, places like that. Right. You're always going to see different faces because people come from different walks of life. Yeah. Among well, Israel and yep. among the Gentiles, man. Yeah, because you have Israelites that are scattered among the other nations. Chances are they're going to be uh, in the marketplace. Right. right? Not in the hood. Yeah. Finally, when Yahushai comes, he's going to gather his elect from where? The four corners of the earth. Not just the hood. <laughs> you dumb clown. That reprobate cornrow wearing the moose face nigga I saw, man. Talking about the hood. Let's go in the hood, man. Fuck the hood, well, man. Hold on, wait a minute. Since he's saying the hood, yeah. nigga, why don't you go to the hood, man? Yeah. Wear something no good. The hood. And then, furthermore, like the elders said, we already spoke in the hood. We used to speak. Yeah, but that nigga ain't going in the hood. He ain't going, he ain't going out there. Way. All he's doing is talking he shit. He's just talking man. shit. We spoke on 125th Street. We spoke up in Fordham Road. I'm the one that set up the Brooklyn camp, man. That's right. That's right. Hey, we might Con reopen that shit. Con we, might, yeah, we might have a continuum that moment. That's there, right. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know? We got brothers that so, live so, there. So HOSC can get mad. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, we we got, got no business being down in Brooklyn, man. Oh, I can see. I can hear them now. 
And well, we got brothers that live in Brooklyn. Why not? That might happen. But we spoke in the Bronx, and we spoke in the the hood. Like but the major places, yeah. the major places is 34th and 7th. Yep, 42nd. 42nd and 44th. But you know how you know? Because everybody that comes in New York, they don't be they, they don't say let's go down to Hoyt and Fulton. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they, they say that oh, we might get jumped or something, man. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, go down yeah. to Times Square, Herald Square, <laughs> you know <laughs> Empire State Building, the yeah, the, yeah. the 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 uh the uh Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Macy's. Macy's, you know? Go, go ahead and speak on the mic. Yeah, the New World Trade Center they just built up. Yep, we yep. were speaking down there while they were while they were building that 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 that, sucker. that bad boy. Yep. 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 Which and y'all haven't y'all haven't spoke nowhere, man. Oh, we was at Zagardi Park before Zagardi Park became famous. That's right. With them damn hippies and shit. That's right. Them hippie hippie dippy people. That's right. You 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 man, you guys know what man. You dudes, you how you yep. how shy. Yep. When we we well, uh, you know what? Uh, can I can we go back to Matthews and, and bring that out? The parable of the soul, yeah, gun. I'm gonna go to the to the way he starts breaking it down. Gun, go right into it. Uh, this is uh the 18th verse, my Matthew 13:18. Hear ye the therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, that's this truth. The the word. Of, this is the truth. Right, go ahead. Then cometh the wicked one and cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make a list that you scroll out, and all them niggas are on it, man. Yeah, pictures. Yeah. It says, "Then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart." <laughs> this is he which receives seed by the wayside. Hey, Satan, the spirit of Satan comes and snatches away the word from you guys. When you receive the word, Lahab, Yashawan, uh, Aharon, lawyer. You know the original lawyer. You know the one that committed adultery. And shit, Kazak, Robert Jones. <laughs> like, hey, Robert Jones came up, or he rolled up on Nate's camp and said, I used to be out here. Now I did this already. I did this. I didn't already did this already. You got to keep doing it, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, Zeke. Oh, I ain't going to call you Zeke. If, you, if, you, if you're doing it and it's good, you got to keep doing it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Robert Jones. Hey, hey, hey. hey. For old times' sake, I call you Zeke. I said, "Call you yeah, Zeke. You fell off, man." And that brother from Nate's camp told you that you fell off, though. You fell off, brother. You fell off, brother. You fell off. Hey, 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 brother. You fell off, man. Brother, hey, you, fell off. you was my man back in the days. I still dig you. I think, but you out there. You in the world. You wasn't one of the elect, okay? And you were not. And you wouldn't. Just like somebody else. And you were not the prophet Ezekiel, man. <laughs> Like the song says, uh, D train, you gotta keep on shining a little. You got to keep on, keep on pressing on. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> that right there is a song for the truth, man. That's right, man. Hey, hey, you gotta listen to the lyrics of that song. It came out in what, 82, 81? Uh, yeah, D train, James D train Williams. Yeah, man, put that on. Google that. Yep. You see that? Hey, well, there's another song. That's not the song. Keep on. Is that the same song you're talking about? Oh, okay. That's the song you... Oh, yeah. Keep on. And that was a bad song. Yeah, that was a badass song. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, got it. Yep. That's it. Yep. Got to keep, keep, got to keep that on. Yeah, that was a bad song. Yeah. I never... There's a lighter part of the song. I can't. When he gets into it, then that organ... I can't. Oh, man. If you don't feel that, man. Oh, yeah, well, that's the attitude you're supposed to have with this truth, brother. And we and we fit that, man. Yep, yep, yep. Our our track record proves that. Yep. You know? That's right. I remember that song when I was a little I, well, that's that when I hear that song every once in a while they'll play it on the radio. That uh, give you uh, de, uh, deja vu from when you was a kid, man. Yeah, I was I was a little kid and that song was, was big, popular, but it's so true. You other niggas, you other guys that fell off, you like well, the song don't really say that, but we made a joke out of it. That Jeffrey uh, Osborne song, Back in Love Again. But I always said we should remix it. Is it Back in the World Again? <laughs> I just can't believe it. Right back, right back in the world again. That's, that's a lot of you guys. You back, Lahab, you back in the world, man. Shia, you came back, and then you had that uh, scarf with the chariots on. The chariots ain't coming to deliver you. Because you ain't one of the elect, man. 
Shia, you, you, you. Well, I got a scripture for you, Shia. I got a scripture for you, Shia. Go ahead, you, know, you ain't right. Finish reading the Ram Love. Right. This is our uh, first. Uh, Ari Ram Love. Yeah, man, and you other niggas, man. All this time, you you can't get this man's name right. You other reprobates. I'm going to just call you straight out. You other reprobates. You goddamn reprobates up there in Rochester, man. You you guys are just reprobates, man. That's all I got to say about you, man. We ain't going to give you too much airtime, man. Yeah. Smoke all the weed you want. Just, just do what you want to do. And wait for the missiles to come. And <laughs> like, like, my man, well, he's dead. He's in the spirit world, but this, 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 well, the recap on what he said back in the 90s, just go smoke your weed and wait for the missiles to come. <laughs> hey, here's the scripture right here, right? This is for Yeshaya and the rest of you guys, all right? But this is mainly hitting on Yeshaya, right? Because back when Yeshaya was back in the truth, you just knew he was one of the elect, oh, right? Yeah, you just knew it, man. Uh, Galatians 5 and 7, it says, ye did run well. How did, I'm, I'm sorry, who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? Straight, straight into the point. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, I got... <laughs> Yeah, I got the song, and just like uh, the Apostle Elder Tar said, you read the comments, there's one guy put, um, let me see, put, uh, oh, yeah, this is the party, but I can't let nobody keep me from reaching the top. Now, when you hear him sing that, man, he gets into it, man, toward the latter part of the song. Um, one guy put uh, one, of, one of the, oh, one of the best inspirational songs in my life. See, there's certain songs out there, that are that are inspirational, you know. That you listen to the lyrics and the music combines with it. Fire. I like yeah. fire is inspirational. <laughs> when the missiles hit them niggas, they're gonna they're gonna try to fire. get straight. That's right. Even oh, even, even, even right. Even even um even uh this guy said uh, uh Richard Pryor said fire, fire is, is inspirational. inspirational. Is a, yeah, as you have it in the damn Olympics and shit. Con. Hey, cause you know the Most High kind of gave us you know he gave us music for certain moments, man. You know when you're down. Certain songs lift you up, inspire you. These are one of those songs, man. You know, I mean, all you gotta do is use it for the truth's sake. Just turn, t change it around a little, and use it for the truth's sake. You know, get creative, man. Add to what you're saying. Well, the proof, even Esau know that. That's why when they make movies, they always have the the music score. Yep. Music combines with the scene. It combines with the scene. You have to have the right music. Con. Con. It has to come out. If I may, it has to come out the right era. Like you can't make a a movie about the '60s and you playing a song that came out in the '80s. <laughs> right? You got nigga, <laughs> you know, so-called nigga directors who don't do their their research. That is so true. That makes a nigga look bad. Yeah, man, he's gonna make a movie about the '60s, but he puts in a song that came out in 1983. Yeah, yeah, you know, and the and the movie is about the '60s. See, but that's a nigga for you. Niggas half-ass everything, man. Like the truth. See what I'm saying? Oh, uh, case in point, like St uh, Stallone. Uh, the, uh, them Rocky movies, The one of the things that pump you up about the, the, music. the music. That Rocky music, you know, that... Yeah, that yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it pumped, it, you know, that shit pumped, it, it was, it was inspirational, get you, you know what I mean? The music, man. Because this thing of ours is a movie. Elder Tower was just saying that earlier. He feels like we're like he's in a movie. This is a movie, and the Most High is the director, and we're the actors, <laughs> right? We're, the, we're, we're the, hey, even Shakespeare well, the said. Director tells you what to do. You don't yeah. say, "Well, look, I don't want to do that." Yeah. Well, the director going to fire you, man. Just like Blue said, I ain't going out in the brick, brick, brick coal. Yeah. But the director told you to go out in the brass part of the, the, the job. That's part of the job. So if you say you ain't going to do it, what is he going to do? He's he going to fire, fire you, man. Hey, and check it out. Hey, you got certain actors. Yep. That a player, a, a, a person that's fat, and right. they'll actually get fucking fat, man. Right. Or like De Niro. De Niro. He yep. got fat for shit. That, that's right. For, uh, that's right. And and um and raising bull. Raising you know? bull. And check it out. We have the scriptures. Now, what do actors receive? They receive the script. Now, the word script comes from scriptures. So this is the script. The script is in our hand for the movie, for the Most High's movie. This is the script. Read the script. <laughs> Right, man, and you guys are not. You guys are in a breach of contract because when you when you first came in this truth, like I said at the beginning, top of this lesson, you made a contract. That's the better way to put it. You guys signed a contract with Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, man, he fulfilled his contract. 
when he came on the earth 2,000 years ago and went up on that cross and went through that beating, man. So he fulfilled this contract, man. He's not in breach of it. And then we made, so you made a contract with the Most High by way of your Shah. Because your Shah said, look, I went on the cross for you. So now you got to come out and do this work that I started, man. The work of the Father. So all that off, you didn't take that serious, man. You didn't take it serious, man. And the Most High gonna gonna going check you on that, man. He gonna check. You. That's that other scripture when Yahweh Shai said he gave the parable. The other parable when he the man, the good man, came and gave his servants the talents, and one servant went and spent the talents and and brought forth uh, fruit with the talents, and another guy took it and buried it in the earth. Then when the master came back, he said. Uh, what did you do? I took that money and spent it and, and brought goods with it, meaning, you know, brought brothers into the truth, taught the truth. The other guy, he dug the talents up out the ground and said, look here, master, here's the talents that you gave me. I saved them for you. Look, man, the Lord didn't give you this money, which is the truth, to, to sit on top of it and hold it in your pocket and hoard it. That's what you said, Kazak. You got the truth. You know, you, you, you learned the truth all them years ago, all that knowledge. And you said, I'm just laying low, man. So you sitting on top of the knowledge of the most high God. You that wicked servant, man. That's you. That's all you, Yeshia. All that information you had, but you disappeared, man. Shortly after the ninety the nineties, right after the split, after the split with um uh Marsha and Arya, and then you was over there as you were still going out around that time, right? After after the split, you was kinda of going out there. But then when they got this guy, the that fat black nigga, <laughs> the comforter discomforter when they got him up in there you just disappeared after that because supposedly they kicked you out to school after they kicked you out to school you were supposed to go and start your own school you and Kazak were supposed to go well look here with there we look we're gonna still teach we're gonna still go out there now I listened to Yeshaya for years always talk about back in one west this is back when we was all together you used to always brag about Look, I can start my own school if I want. Me and Kazak was going to start our own school. We've been in the school long enough. We fulfilled our obligations to Mo and Ariel and this, that, and the other. We could start our own school. But Marsha asked me to stay, so we stayed. He used to always say that shit. He used to always say that. First Timothy is one eighteen, and I'm, I think I'm gonna read nineteen. No, no, I'm gonna read uh, uh, eighteen to twenty. It says First uh, Timothy's right, uh, uh, one verses eighteen to twenty. It said, "This charge, this charge, I committed unto thee, son Timothy." This is Paul speaking to Timothy. Timothy was not his uh, biological son, but his son in the spirit, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them might as war good warfare, all right? And the warfare is not talking about killing people and fighting with swords and all that. It's talking about doing the work, all right? It's like a war, all right? Because you run into a lot of obstacles, man. It says, holding faith and a good conscience, which some have putting away concerning faith, have made shipwrecked. They just jump, they jumped the boat, so to speak. And it's evident. That's why we name names. Of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. So when these two guys went, you know, did wrong against uh, the apostle Paul, he called he called Satan on him, man, to get him jacked up. So we can call Satan on you guys to get you jacked up. That's righteous. That's righteous. These guys say you ain't supposed to put curses on brothers. Yes, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not brothers if they if they don't continue in the work. They're not brothers. You know. Now I looked up that word warfare in Tim in the book of Timothy is from the Greek word stratea, which means an expedition, campaign, military service, warfare. Metaphorically, Paul likens his contest with the difficulties that oppose him in the discharge of his apostolic duties as warfare. So that's all the, the, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the uh, landmines, so to speak, the, um, the obstacles, the landmines of life, the obstacles, you know, the difficulties, uh, you know, the uh, afflictions 
that you endure. Well, that's why guys, that's why guys leave, man. You know, guys leave because of the the woman, their job. The boss might have saw them and pull them to the side. Look, if you don't get your act together, we going and you got a good job, you know, or any or anything, man. Or a guy in the school might have offended you, man. You yep. know, you find excuses to leave, man. Yep. Yep, that goes back. That goes back to the parable of the sower seed. Uh, verse twenty says, "But he that received seed, this seed into st uh, stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and are none with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he no root in himself." Then Yahweh always talk about um, the house that was founded upon a rock, and said, "When the winds came and the." Floods came and beat upon that house and it didn't fall yeah. because they didn't foundate themselves on Yahweh Shai. Okay, they didn't really believe and have faith in Yahweh Shai. And uh, Ariel used to always say this back when he was in his right mind the straight gate is Yahweh Shai. Ariel taught that years ago. When the scripture talk about walking the straight gate, that means having faith and really believing in Yahweh Yeh Shai. And we can actually say that. Um High priest Ariya is not in his right mind. Because yeah. if he was in his right mind, he wouldn't be falling behind that big fat milk dud, man. You know? <laughs> that's that's about to get fully exposed, along with Yohanna and the rest of you phonies out there. All right? <laughs> this is uh second Timothy four. I'm gonna start from the second verse. It said, Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, when it's cold, when it's hot, when it's lukewarm, you know, when it's windy, you know. Reprove. Re Buke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. All right. <laughs> For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Like Isaiah is one of them, man. Yep. As soon as he left out the camp, all that the Most High took all that information from him, man. Yeah. You know. And said, so "For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears." All right. Because nobody bucks up against uh, a Nate. That's right. Hey, whatever Nate says, that's that's the gospel truth. All right? That's why I call you guys zombies. <laughs> it says, uh, okay, I've read that. Let me move on down to the fourth verse. <laughs> it says, uh, uh, the fourth verse, and, and they shall turn away their ear from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, mm. stories. That's Egyptian... Uh, Egyptology bullshit And every last one of you guys Starting with Sarnetta The Most High gonna destroy every last one of you man <laughs> He gonna destroy every last one of you If you 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 received the truth that you were Israelite And you bucked up against it the, the, the next thing for you is death man That's the next thing for you All you, I don't give a damn if you're Dr. Ali Muhammad I don't give a damn if you're, if you're polite I don't give a damn who the hell you are man Okay, it says, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry, meaning do everything you can to push this word out, man. Compel, Compel yep. Uh, six, for I am now ready to be offered. Paul knew they were, the Roman government was going to kill him, and the time of my departure is at hand. He wasn't getting on no plane, all right? Hold up, hold, hold, hold Say something, brother. This is verse 21. It says, Yet hath he no root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution oh, ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. You know, and that's the one that received uh, a seed upon our, our, our stony places, a stony ground. And, and, uh, now, you notice, all the uh, Ram Law there, it says, dureth for a while, meaning... The guys are winning the truth for a certain amount of years, yep. but as soon as shit get rough, they fall off. Well, this is going to cut them. This is going to cut these guys. Um, you should you should change the name of this thing to what a cut the cut session, the open form cut se session. Uh, we're in the seventh verse, right? This is a cut right here. It said I have. This is Paul speaking. I have fought a good fight. Did, did, didn't mean he had street fights, man. Like the movie Hard Times, you fighting different guys down at the dock of the bay, and you put your hands up, you know. It wasn't he wouldn't he didn't fight Kimbo and all that, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Kimbo, he fought every time he had them street fights. Yeah. It was by the dock, man, that's right, that's by right. the water and shit, that's you know. Right. It says, "I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith." 
How do we know Paul kept the faith? Because he kept pushing the word. He kept doing the work. He kept fighting the fight, as he refers to himself as doing. Uh, eight, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. That day is talking about he ain't get it yet. He's getting ready to get that crown, all right, right. along with others. And not to and and not to me only, right? But and I just said that, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Meaning you looking forward to him for him to come. Like I mentioned it, the dog situation. The dog sit by the door waiting for somebody to come to the door, man. And they'll sit there, man. You know? Let me read on. It says uh, to, uh nine. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. Now he's going to get on certain guys. Ten. For Demas has forsaken me. Why? Having loved this present world. And is departed unto Thessalonica. Thessalonica. I have trouble with that that word. Uh, crash, uh, crash, Christians to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. 11. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable for me for the ministry. So Paul was about the business, man. But that's pretty much it. I got I got to the main point. And this is um this is uh back in Matthew 13 and 23. I'm sorry, 22. He that receiveth, uh, received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. <laughs> you know, that's them guys that, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, um, never really put the world off. They come into the truth and they bring the world with them into the truth. They never put that old man off. You know, and, 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 and what happens is in, in process of time that, that uh, old demon that, that they had pulls them out of the truth because they, they're not letting go of those youthful lusts. Yeah, Matthew 12. <laughs> yeah um, Elitar read that scripture, the part where it says, uh, make full proof thy ministry. So I looked up the word full proof. The Greek word there is plara, plara for real, plara for Plara for real. And it says, I'll get right to it. It says, to carry through to the end. Mm. Accomplish. Mm. I mean, that speaks volumes, man. Now, how many of you guys can actually, <laughs> yeah, close the book. How many of you guys that fell out can actually say that, that you have carried through to the end? See, we don't sit here and talk about the years of the truth we've been in, man. Right. Well, that don't matter to us, man. What matters to us is if we complete, finish. That's what counts. Come to the finish line. Hey, it, it's even written, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Right. So we, we're looking for the end, man, the end. It don't matter how many years you've been in the truth. You could be in the truth for 100,000 years. If you don't finish, it don't matter. It don't, it don't mean anything. It's meaningless. Like Shia. You, you, right? Shia, like Shia. Like, I was in this thing for 40 years. That. That's a lie. And then uh, Robert Jones, when you rolled up on Nate Camp, I did this already. I done already did this. Yeah, Baloo talking about he's been in it over 20 years. Baloo, of all people, that, talking that about That doesn't it. account to nothing, man. So what does that you fell, you, you, you fell out. You didn't complete the job, man. That's right. You know? Yeah, that's and, just, But any, anyway, we're going to close up, and we're going to continue this on the street because this gun. is a good topic, man, because it's cutting a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Gun. Shalom.